Welcome back to Fraser Focus. The theme of this week's episode is Where Are They Now? Last year, we brought you a story on the Starfish program, designed to ensure that no school child goes hungry. We're here at the Abbotsford Food Bank to learn more about the phenomenal growth they've experienced. Kids are going hungry uh, at home on the weekend, and so they're coming to school on Monday morning hungry, and uh, that was unacceptable. My daughter, who is a school teacher uh, in kindergarten, uh, phoned me one day and said, Dad, I'm feeding half my class every single day, and uh, what are you going to do about it? And so that started uh, the initial program where we had six kids. Ian, Nina's not here, is she? No. Can you take her bag? Grab another one. When we came out here just, uh, just over a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, the Starfish program had just uh, been introduced into Aldergrove. Yes. What's happened since then? Aldergrove was the second community to, to launch Starfish. It started here in Abbotsford in the spring of 2013. Um, as of yesterday, we're in 15 BC communities. We've had conversations with a number of communities in Washington State. We've had conversations in Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Ontario. We've had calls as far away as PEI. She's perfectly timed, so it's all good. The Rotary came to us and talked to us about a need in our elementary schools. We had students going to school without food. Um, we dealt with those in the school, but the issue was on weekends. Kids would go home when they're not at school and not have any food over the weekend, and it was very difficult for some of the families. I've actually seen a couple of the kids um, running around the streets with them on their stomachs and eating the food, and it just brings a smile to my face, and I'm just happy that they're happy. So. How can they learn when they're hungry? So I think that we not only uh, feed them on the weekend, but in a lot of cases, we're also feeding the families, which uh, really bridges the gap. Okay. <laughs> it helped me in feeding the children their school lunches and helping uh, preparing meals at home. And how many children are there that we're talking about? Uh, two. And these are your two grandchildren? Yes. The children now are eight and seven, uh -huh. and they're both special needs children, so this really helps out a lot. Somebody packs this backpack for you every week. How does that make you feel? Happy. Thankful. Really not that much. We didn't get supported that much, but now we get food every single day. Tell me about the, the two children that you have living with you. Well, the first one is Tristan. He loves to play hockey. He loves to be, he, oh, he loves bowling. Bella, she's bubbly, she's joyful, she's in dance. She's just learning to play, to do ballet. The Starfish program enabled me to get, have that finance to be able to put these kids into the programs that they're in. A lot of people tend to focus on the calories we send home every week, but we're seeing impacts that we, quite frankly, never expected to have happened. We're seeing attendance levels go up, we're seeing attention levels go up in the classroom, we're seeing academic outcomes that we never expected. So it's not just about keeping these kids no, full, it's, no. it's the, it's the it's impacts afterwards. The, the, the impact is the calories open the door to a conversation and the conversation in a community is what's an acceptable number of kids in our community going hungry and what are we going to do about it? Now if people want to get involved, if people want more information, the quickest, simplest way to find out about how a starfish program could be brought to a new community is to go to www.starfishpack.com. The starfish program continues to provide two dinners, two breakfasts, two lunches and snacks to school children to take home every weekend throughout the school year. You're watching Fraser Focus. More local stories when we come back.